Welcome back to Pathologic 2. In the last episode, we basically finished up doing almost everything for day one. Now it's almost the end of day one. Only actual mark on the map I have left, that's a quest anyway, is to drink to Father's memory in the Broken Heart, Andrews Damaton's pub. So let's check out the pub. The music that's playing in here, by the way, is like almost exactly the same as what played in the original Pathologic in Andrews Damaton's pub. So it's giving me serious nostalgia. It's like, whoa, I'm back there. Probably nothing over here. Anybody leave an empty water bottle I can pick up? No. Oh, wait. Uh, ah, can't interact with that door. Hello, Andrew. And I think this is the architect. I love that. <laughs> it's like they're just in their own little world. Yes. Oh, I thought it was Andrew Stamaton. It's Andre Stamaton. Ha! Huh, what a face. The loser's face. What? What are you, 12? Look who's talking. The rabble is out of control. At least they looked human before. Did you hear about the stabbings? There's people with knives out in the streets now, brother. Yeah, at first I didn't believe my own eyes. Their pupils are so big. I mean, I'm quite an artist with a knife myself, but that's different. Everyone knows I obey no law. These people, there's no wholesome fear left in them. Kniving is taboo around here. That's why I love this town. But you know the tricks of the trade, don't you? I can tell by your hands. I'm a surgeon. It's part of my job. You're a dangerous man. I'm a dangerous man, too. We can reach an understanding if you behave yourself in my establishment. Those people with knives, are they still trying to avenge Barak? I don't even care. If they come here, they'll regret it. He who lives by the knife dies by the knife. Such people are outlaws. Killing them incurs no punishment, only gratitude. Judge Kane said so. Judge Kane? Do you mean old Georgie? That means it's serious. Is it Georgie? Or like Georgi? I'm going to say Georgie. Father's funeral will take place tomorrow at dawn. I'll hardly have a chance to pay respects to him until then. Tomorrow at dawn, okay. Oh, right, um, that was going to take place at the cemetery, right? Because they bury bodies at first light? I remember thinking that they had buried them this morning because they were murdered last night, right? And they're supposed to be buried at first light, but I guess they didn't do it this morning, obviously. I love glass, old boy. Everything good comes in glasses. <laughs> now this is Peter Stamaton, right? They're brothers. There's a gleam of goodness in your eyes, my friend. Drink with me. All right. Everyone says Twyrein heightens the senses, but I think that's only true of hearing, vision. No, you won't see anything new. It isn't absinthe. No smells either. This place reeks of herbs as it is. Hearing, though. What about hearing? Just drink and you'll hear how the town sounds. You'll hear who's calling you and from where. You'll hear a murmur from afar. 
perhaps from across the Gorkin, or perhaps from across the Styx itself. Drink to my health, friend. This is excellent Wyrine. There's no such thing as bad Twyrine. I can afford this kind of joy. So what do you do? I was once an architect. Now I'm just a shadow of an architect. Thanks for the drink, friend. My name's Peter. I am the rock upon which is built the stairway to tomorrow. To the day when man lifts himself from the earth and overcomes its burden. I am that rock, and I've already built the first step of that stairway. For I am a true architect. I think they may have been the one who designed the polyhedron. And I'm Artemy Barak. Let's drink to my father's memory. A good man. Drink, Barak. Drink your twyrine. Listen to the world. Listen to the roar of the terrible earth. Listen to the ringing of the sky. Listen to the town opening for you. You'll find out where people wait for you. Or whispering about you right now. It's been proven to work. Thank you for the valuable gift. I'll return the favor if I get a chance. Trigger Triron just hidden places and something something conversations on the map. Oh, they just gave me a punch. Ah. Oh. Wait, where did it go Leave did all of it go down here Let all of it went down there <laughs> um let's get rid of this water bottle Twilight uncovers that which is hidden every sip will reveal a secret event or location to me so I'm guessing every time I drink it, it only reveals one thing. Why is there a meat grinder here? Are we just gonna grind meat out onto the floor? Meat on demand? Plenty is a plague. Just bring up a bowl and get some meat. <laughs> Can I join you on stage? Oh, let's... Oh, look at that. Let me get that so that's like right in the corner. That is really cool looking. I know I'm wasting time. <laughs> All these beautiful paintings. I think Peter Stamaton is a painter as well, so they probably made these paintings. Okay, we need to go. Drink some water. Um... I guess I should drink one of the Twyrines, see if it reveals something else. It did. What is that? The town is calling to me. I definitely didn't encounter that one before. Like the first one it revealed when I drank it a while ago was the, the bowl being sold. But what is that? Let's go to it. 3,000 for the revolver, ignore. That's just a note, basically, that I can buy stuff here, even if I'm hated. Mm, oh yeah, I should visit the Var the Scar-Faced to talk about organs. <laughs> and that is sort of over in this direction anyway, so... Yeah, let's go here first. Mm. Trying to figure out the best way. And of course, trade with people. Because, God, I have too much stuff. Scrap names for two. That's not trading for as much as I thought it would. But I can get broken scissors for just two. Hmm. Thimble's useless for me. 
Oh, grindstone. I should probably get that. I can use that to sharpen my scalpel. Not that it's really very dull, but it's been used once. Alright, one scrap name for one grindstone. I don't have space for it, do I? <laughs> Shit. Uh... Uh, and if I trade the other scrap name for the broken scissors, then I still won't have space for it, because that'll just retake the space. Hold on, hold on. Um, okay, I'm very hungry, so I can eat some of this food to make some space. Let's go with smoked fish. Yeah, that's good. Now, how do I actually use the grindstone? Or can I? Is there any way to use an item on another item? Hmm. I have no idea how this works. I can just drop this or look at its description, that's it. I mean, I guess sharpening it isn't the same as increasing the durability, right? But then how would I sharpen anything? Maybe it's just not the thing you actually use. Maybe you just trade for it. Hmm. I would love to dump some of the stuff off. in that bundle. Oh, I can ask for repair. Ooh. That's interesting. Not enough resources. Ah, you do need the grindstone to repair stuff, but you can't just use it yourself. You have to give it to someone. Need a grindstone, a chisel, and a safety razor? Or, uh, what's that called? Razor of some sort? Hmm. Hmm, just the grindstone can be used to repair this. But the knife would require a lot more. So do I not have to pay them any money then? Just the resources to do the thing? So that's going to... I'm trying to figure out what I'm seeing here with this thing, this moon shape, which actually looks super cool. I love how stylized this thing is, this whole menu of repairing. <clears throat> It's got two little notches, which probably correspond to the durability notches here in the item description. Colors kind of match as well. I guess it's just showing me that it's going to repair it to full, right? Or like almost full? Oh, oh, this is where the durability is for the scalpel right now. And this little tiny hard to see blinking part is what's going to be repaired when I do this. I see. Well, what the heck, let's do it. I know it's a tiny repair, but hey, save me some inventory space. Thanks, buddy. Ah, let's not go the wrong way just for the sake of trading. Hi. We don't normally see kids out at night, do we? Immunity boosters for six. Buttons four, chunks three. Mm, 
Yeah, I could trade some stuff for it. I don't need it, but... I'm sure I will in the future. Okay, let's trade two things of marbles for one thing of immunity boosters. Thanks, kid. Ah! Bandage person. Please take four water bottles. Three tourniquets and two bandages. That's really good. with me spring or metal scrap ah oh, they don't want to trade with anything except matches oh pemmican oh, I have nothing to I have nothing to trade them at all music just got pretty creepy How many fingernails do I have? Just one. I could trade for another. Yeah. Six for that. Two pieces of chalk. Four. Five, six. Let's get rid of more inventory space than that, actually. Let's give them two beetles and some hazelnuts for the fingernail. That'll save some space. Another fingernail? I mean, it doesn't hurt. A button. Plus a thimble? Overpaying a little bit, but that's fine. Yeah. It's a lot of people in this little park. Scrap name for two for a piece of chalk or a grindstone. Like, that's kind of, it feels like it's trading sideways. Because I don't need those things. I don't even know they'd be used for the grindstone. I know what that's used for. Chalk, I have no idea. It's probably somebody who'd pay more for the chalk than two. But I don't know who that is, so... Oh, this is the theater that we're going towards. Why is the town calling me here? Oh, they're yawning. Needle? I'll always trade for a needle, except I can't. Do I have anything they want? It's calling me... Where is it calling me? Like, here? Just on the outside? Like, in the rock? Yeah, it's basically like the rock that seems to be calling me. Oh. Oh. Wrinkled note. Holy shit. Chestnut, walnut, three fingernails, two revolver ammo, schmouter. Box filled with yellowish powder. Guess that's for some kind of game. Safety pin and a wrinkled note. This is a hell of a good find. Let's read the note before I take everything, just in case I find out that I shouldn't take everything. It says it's better to put it back after. Two fluffy tails for a teapot. Need it soon. The tails are good as new. T.L. Every noon. The what? 
two fluffy tails for a teapot. Obviously, they're speaking in code. This is like a dead drop location. I guess. What are fluffy tails, though? I don't know what that means. I have no idea what a teapot is, either. TL every noon. So noon is when the drop happens, I guess. Is there any reason not to take all this stuff, then? <clears throat> I... <clears throat> I wish I understood what that note really meant. <clears throat> I don't know what fluffy tails are. I don't know what a teapot is. I don't know if I should take this stuff. I don't see why I shouldn't, really. But it really feels too good to be true, doesn't it? There's nuts in here, right? Schmouter, it's part of a game. I think this is from kids. Like, cause this is like stuff the kids like generally. I don't know about the revolver ammo, <laughs> but the other stuff, yeah. Two fluffy tails for a teapot. Is there a type of nut that's like fluffy? It's got fluffy tails or something? I don't know. I'm going to take it all. Except for the note, of course. Hmm. Don't want to trade away most of my water bottles. I mean, I don't need four on me. Like, come on. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Three bandages, three tourniquets. I feel rich. I'm sure this game's gonna beat me down very soon, but for now, I feel good. Like, good with my position when it comes to resources and health and stuff. Let me just put a mark on the map here just to remind me in case I forget that there's a drop zone there. Let's drink more Twilight, shall we? There's even more? Something by Lara's place. Okay. Let's go up there right now. I do also want to go down to Var, but let's go to Lara's place first. Can't get over that rock wall. Trade nuts for needles. Um, yeah. Both these nuts. For a needle. Actually, let's give him the safety pin for the other needle as well. People throw away such good stuff. is over. Some opportunities have been irreversibly missed, but sleep is not the only option. Certain events will unfold at night. A new pantomime is being rehearsed at the theater. Seven people have died in the past 24 hours. Three people have gone missing. Time flies faster and faster with each pa passing day. A day is over and night falls. 
And in that brief night, something will be irretrievably lost. Okay, this thing is still marked, so yeah, none of these marks are gone. We gotta fight. Let's try not to punch the wrong person. Yeah, we did it. Tempted to follow them just to see what they do. <laughs> They're following them. All right. Whoa, what is that? It's around where that person was talking to me. We listened to the earth. It's like something's blooming. I made a noise. Yamar Burke, Yargachin. He who knows how to dissect people can dissect earth. Sain Tada Emshen. Now partake of my blood. Let my blood feed the earth. Wait, I'm, are you saying to kill you? Partake of my blood. Let my blood feed the earth. What for? Everyone knows how it works. You quench earth's thirst with blood. You reap its harvest. Try it. Not if I have to kill you. Yamar Burke Pasaganbai. What just happened? If you hear the earth grumble, find the source. Stand still. She will show her roots to the patient. Feed the roots with blood. She rewards the generous with herbs. Is this how I collect herbs? It's all those times that I've been hearing the earth. If I just stand still, the roots will grow out, just like what happened here. <clears throat> and, uh, what do they just give me? Or what do they try to give me? Oh, they ugh, gave me a vial of their blood. Okay. Um. Shit, I don't have space. I'm gonna drop the empty bottles. Poor blood. That is so strange. That is so cool also. Watch the herbs grow, listen to them sing. You'll find them by the song, by the sound. Mother Bodo reveals herself to the generous. Come back tomorrow, Kayala. Feed her more blood, reap more herbs. So I do have the option to drain people's blood when I'm doing surgery on them. I don't know if that would outright kill them. I guess maybe not. <clears throat> I mean, they just gave me a bunch of their blood and didn't die. Obviously, the human body has quite a bit of blood. Uh, feels weird just to take people's blood, though. We'll, we'll see what happens. If the opportunity arises, maybe I'll take some blood. Bayarte, Pasagan. I'm glad I have them to help me. They've taught me a lot about how this works. I wish I had more space. Maybe I should. I should drop off stuff at Laura Ravel's place. Should I take a quick pick, quick, quick peek 
upstairs. I'm just curious if the changeling's back. No. Has it been repopulated with loot? Have you put more bread in the cupboards? No. Nothing new to say to him. Oh damn, my hunger's super high. Okay, well, let's eat the smoked meat then. That uses quite a bit of space. If I eat another one, that actually might be wasted, because I restored a lot of hunger. Uh, let's eat it anyway. It wasn't wasted. We're fine. Yeah, one of the bottles got dropped because I didn't have room for it. It would be a good idea to sleep for a bit. But I do want to go see the play. New plays being rehearsed. I can probably see it tomorrow, right? There's like... It seems like there's two levels of tomorrow. Technically, it's day two. And technically, it said the day... The end of the day has been reached. And it showed that little title card. But I don't think it really... Completely changes over to the next day until like 8 a.m. <clears throat> Which reminds me, I need to be at the cemetery at the crack of dawn, I think. Spending a fingernail to get over there would be a good idea. That's a long way away. In fact, spending a fingernail to get down here to Var would be a good idea, too. Hmm. But I could just run down there and get the theater along the way. All right, let's store stuff in here, I suppose. Does time move when I'm looting this? Hold on. 48. 48. 48. 49. 49. 49. 49. I'm trying to see how fast it changes. 50. Pretty fast. So it's at 50. Let me just stay here for a bit. If you tarry, you'll die unshriven. Well, I wouldn't want to be unshriven. It's 53. Time does pass while I'm looting. So, trying to stuff stuff in there. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I should figure out what I want to put in there before I enter that screen so I don't just spend a lot of time in there. Blood twire. I wonder if I can use it to make my own twirine. Anyway, what's probably... What's probably useless? Let's, like, put it over here on the right. I don't need two lockpicks. Oh, I brought the bloody lockpick back to Bad Grief, but they let me keep it. Well, I'll use it as my main lockpick as a memento. Plus, it has full durability. <laughs> Creepy-ass lockpick. So, toss out the other lockpick. Um... Bull bell, definitely. It's taking up a lot of space. I don't think I need that. Uh. Mm. I should keep one or the other. Bandages or tourniquets? Probably not both. I think bandages are more effective. So let's toss the tourniquets. I don't have room to put everything on the right over here. Let's toss broken ampules. There's no point in keeping that. Revolver ammo, what's the point? It does only take up a little bit of ammo. I mean, a little bit of space. And I could trade with it, actually. Yeah, okay, that's worth keeping, just so I can trade. Oh yeah, and this leash. Right. Anything else? It's a decent amount of space. Good stuff to trade with. One scalpel. One bloody lockpick. Hmm. I think that's good. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be able to sell the herbs at the pub, right? Twire, the herb with many faces, used to make tinctures. Herbs are the words of earth. She grants them to us by splitting herself open. 
and so an herb given to the human body can tell us what ails it. Each blade of twire is unique. Herbalists tell them apart by their voices. That is so cool. The herbs did speak to me. They each made their own little song. Let's kind of put everything in one place so we have a nice big open spots for putting things. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Let's sleep a little bit. Um, mm, I will recover more if I take morphine before sleeping, so I should do that. It's about 1 a.m. How long should I sleep for? Three hours? Take some morphine. Health going up, exhaustion going down, heck yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. I can work with that. Max health, very low exhaustion. That's great. Oh, when you when you use the morphine, you get the broken ampule back. Huh. They lived happily ever after and horribly ever before. Alright, let's go. Don't want to tarry, I may become unshriven. One stop at the theater and also go down to VAR. <clears throat> and then before 8 a.m., get to the cemetery. It's going to be a little tight on time, but I think I should be able to do it. Nothing they want to trade for. go along the fence to the theater, that should be fine. That's, that's the noise that I heard when that thing was illuminated. Right? One of these pillars? Oh. Okay, what got marked? The theater. Oh, that's telling me that there's a play. Welcome the actor, Artemy Burach. Let us examine him. The will is present. Emotions, sure, there are emotions. Intellect, well, no one expected a miracle. Not from this specimen. He's no true human, but a larva. Just like all the larvae we've seen here lately. Pardon me, I shouldn't have been so rude. You are, after all, the star of the show. How should I act, then? Here's some advice. Actually, the only advice that matters. Try not to die. Ever. Do you understand? Like, never ever. At all. Or it'll turn bad. Not just for you, but for all of us. And why is that? It would wound the world. Irreversibly. And the world, it's not in the best shape as it is. So I'd kindly ask you to do your very best. Work hard, take care of yourself. Where are the other two? The bachelor and the girl? 
They're waiting for you to exit the scene. They want to learn about their fates as well. You know the future? What's mine then? Oh, I can't help but pity you. Look, there will be a happy ending. You'll even believe that you've won. No guilty conscience either. So relax, man of fate. Next. Um, what do you mean? Next. <laughs>